In this video, I'll be showing how to do reports using Excel tables. After installation, you should find a menu under the Add-ins tab where all the options are available. If this doesn't appear, just ensure that the add-ins been properly installed by going to Excel Options and then Add-ins. First of all, decide where you would like the report to start and select the cell and from the menu select table formula. This will bring us into the query builder window. From here we can select the product that we want to do the report over. In this case I've got a number of products but I'll use the AdventureWorks demonstration product. Once you've selected the product you can then choose from a list of tables. In this particular case I'm going to do a report over the products that have been sold over a period of time and the quantities that have been moved. So I'm going to select the production transaction history table. Once I've selected the table you can see in this area here I've got a list of fields that I can select and output. So what I'd like to do is select the product and number and the name of the product and drag them into the output section of the query builder. I would also like to output the quantity. Notice that when I've dragged out the quantity there is a sum this is because I'm the mode of the report I've chosen is summary report. So items will be summarized where possible. Now I'll preview the data by selecting on preview. You can see that I've got the product number and and name and the quantity but for the report, I'd like to see the products that have been sold with the most quantities at the top. So I'll go back to the query and I'll select the outputs and select on uh, sorting. And I'd like to sort by quantity and then product name. And I'd like to reverse sort the quantity so that the larger numbers are at the top. And I'll just preview the data again. You can see now that the larger quantities are at the top of the report and there are 441 items in the report. But I'd like to limit the report to the top 10 items. So I'll go back again to the, the query tab and this time I'm going to right click on the table and select options and limit the report to the top 10 rows and preview the, the data once more. Now this is better, this is the type of report I'd like to, to output to Excel. So now I'm basically happy with the report, I'll click finish and a table will appear in Excel. There's a few more things I'd like to add to this report and one of them is to select the products by color and analyze them by color. So what I'll do is I'll add a filter to the report where I could choose the color and I'll put a name range over the color cell in B3 and I'll go back to the table and I'll double click on the table and select from the menu edit query. You can see under the folder here I've got a field called color 
and I'm going to drag and drop it up into the filter area. There's lots of ways I can add filters. One is to right click and filter or I can drag and drop them. Now I've got the color in the filter area. If I click on the lookup I should see all the colors that are available but I don't want to hard code the color in. I'd like to let the user type in the color into the cell and have the report refresh. So I'm going to click into the filter area and then double click on the cell that I'd like the filter value to reference. And you can see that it's picked up the name range of the, set of the cell that will hold the color and it's currently resolving to red. I'll just click finish now and you can see that the table's now changed. It's now only showing the products that are red. Now let's go in and change the the format of the table itself. What I'll do is I'll select the the table and change the color style to a black and gray theme and also I'd like to add a percentage a ratio of, of the quantities so I'm going to insert a column into the table and we'll call this the ratio and I'll double click the new column and Instead of selecting a column from the query, I'm going to set it to none, indicating that I'll put a formula in here. And I'd like the ratio to be the quantity divided by the overall total. And I'll set the format to a percentage. And as a final touch, I'll put some conditional formatting on the cell to give us a, a colored data bar in the background. And to the right of this, I'll add a, a chart. And the chart will be on the product number and the ratio. So I'll insert a pie chart and just put that to, over to the side. You'll notice that as I type in values into the cell in B4, the table will change. This is because as we're typing in values, the formula just above the table is refreshing the table and the graph. If, you, if the user is not sure what values to type in, they can double click the cell and a lookup will appear based on the data model. So in this case, I'll choose a blue and you can see that the table and the graph has changed.